Hi, it's Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 5th of March. So what I've done today is taken one of our signals from our stock signals membership where our members get to download spreadsheets, for potential fifth wave moves, both long and short on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame there. So this is the membership area, very, very simple. We select the day, the 5th of March, you can go back and get some from the from the from from previous days and we members just click on the image and download the spreadsheet which looks like something like this today so this is the 5th of march for 60 minutes you see at the bottom on the tabs there you've got daily and weekly but i want to concentrate on the 60 minute we had a bit of a correction in the markets yesterday a uh, nice little sell-off there some profit taking and this could present some uh, good opportunities on these intraday time frame for a swing into the end of the week maybe beginning of next uh, but so let's have a look at this i've chosen bby best buy just had really great earnings so this is on the six minute time frame so let's have a look at the chart so this is the think or swim training platform it's our Elliott wave indicator suite for the think or swim training platform and i've also got our um black box breakout indicator on there as well also available for trade station and ninja trader as well uh, so let's have a, look, a little closer look at this so we can see here we've got, I mean, really, we were range bound going into earnings there, really, really ranging. And then sometimes a stock needs a catalyst, and this earnings was the catalyst. So we've got the wave one, the two came down low just before earnings, and then we had the massive gap up here to, uh, to form that wave three. And then since then, we've had a three day profit taking pullback, and that's those wave four pullbacks that we're really interested in. So, right at this moment in time, the wave force pulled back into our green probability zone. So this is our pullback zones. This represents an 85% probability. If that support is held and starts to move away, 85% probability we're going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zone up here in blue, around about $72. Now, we do look at the behavior of this wave four as well. So we can see on our 535 uh, oscillator, which is the center of the two subcharts we are between 90 and 140 percent on this pullback now so it could go a little bit further but there's a lot of other things i want to talk about in a minute that's going for it right now so stochastic as well we've gone from overbought to oversold and crossed over in the oversold there so really really good now what i've done is also combined our um black box breakout indicator here so part of our black box breakout indicator looks at the position of the price action in regards to our EMA cloud, this is our EMA cloud here. You can see just where the wave four is inside. So you can see here we're all bullish. We pull back slightly on this 60 minute time frame here. The next row of dots down is the 120, uh, the 240, the daily, and the weekly. So you can see overall we are bullish on those multiple time frames. We've got the overall bullish trend, which gives us confidence to go for that long fifth wave move. Also, I want to talk about this support as well, because not only have we got that linear support zone, that green support zone, but also we've got the non-linear EMA cloud that we uh, that we provide as well, both providing support at that wave four. And then finally, we got a breakout signal in our black box yesterday. This is the bubbles here. So we've got increased volume, contracted price action on this uh, second to last candle yesterday, which gave us the signal. So again, we're looking pretty strong bullish there. So I want to do a traditional fifth wave move entry here in that we've got a six four moving average high in this green moving average here. So these are our um, conservative entry strategies, part of our Elliott wave indicator suite. So we want to go up outside of this six four moving average high for the first hours bar position today. So the entry for BBY on the 60 minute is 68.14. So when it goes through 68.14, that's when it won't go long. We've got a 66.58 stop, and then the target's around about $72. But if we get resistance at the previous wave three, and we get exhaustion, it's still a good profit taking position because we are at 160% profit times risk there at that price. So really, really good setup. Sensible entry strategy. Signals come from our stock signals membership on tradethefifth.com. And um, it's very, very simple to set up, especially if you have our Elliott Wave indicator suite as well. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.